Sequential ray tracing is defined as a type of ray tracing where the rays move from one surface of the system to the next in a predefined order. And it's commonly used for any kind of imaging or afocal system. Here I have a, a simple relay lens and uh, the surfaces of the uh, lens are defined in a lens data or, uh, editor and this defines the order in which rays interact with the surfaces. So my very first surface here, which is surface number zero, is called the object surface and it's the source of all rays. And then rays tra travel a hundred millimeters to land on this surface here, which is the first lens surface goes through five millimeters of BK7, which has this particular radius of curvature, and it has an anti-reflection coating on it. It's a quarter wave magnesium fluoride coating. They then go to the second surface and then propagate a hundred millimeters to the stop surface, which is this aperture surface here. And then goes through the second lens and onto the image surface. Now you can see there are multiple ways you can define this system. There are two real parameters that are of importance to any sequential system and one is the aperture and the other is the field of view. And they are both capable of being defined in different ways to depend on the, the needs of particular systems. So if we look under aperture first of all, we'll see that the aperture of this lens has been defined as the um, numerical aperture of this bundle of light. So it's the sine of this angle times whatever the refractive index is. Or I could choose the entrance pupil diameter, which is basically the size of the beam that will get through this optical system, the image space uh, F number, the aperture size, which we call float by stop size, the paraxial working F number, or just the object cone angle directly. So this is defined by object space NA, typically used for fibers. And then the field of view can be defined also in a number of ways. We can define it by the height of the object, the height of the image, or the angle that this ray makes as it goes through the system. And we're using object height. And we've got three fields defined at y equals zero, y is minus five, and y is plus five. So that's these points here. Sequential ray tracing is very, very fast because the rays always know where they're going to next. And it's the basis of almost all lens design and lens design analyses like these spot diagrams here. 